Hello, Andrea. You may remember me. My name is Dominic, and I'm your friend from college, and I have about a million other things that I could be doing right now. However, I thought I would take a break and share something with you. I'd like to uh, harken back to our days in junior year of college and uh, read an excerpt from a poem for you, and I will let you guess which poem it is. This is my first time making a video on our Mac, and it's really fucking weird. So forgive me, um, but here's an excerpt that I would uh, like to gift to you, and I will let you guess the poem, as I said. I'm gonna put on uh, my reading glasses here, but since it's really bad glare on, um, on the glasses themselves, as you can see, I'm going to position them at the crook of my nose and read to you the following. They stand there under the long, low bough of the great oak. Eastward, over the forest, the sun is nothing but a circular blur of no irradiation, somewhat paler than the general grayness. Their legs are again bound with thongs. They are asked if they want to pray now, but the woman, if in its God made folks, then who's to pray to? And then, or fur, and burst into laughing. For a time, it seems that she can never stop laughing. But as for the sons, one prays or tries to, and one merely blubbers. If the woman gives either a look, it is not pity, nor even contempt, only distance. She waits, and it is what she is. And in the gray light of morning, he sees her face. Under the tumbled darkness of hair, the face is white. Out of that whiteness, the dark eyes stare at nothing, or at the nothingness that the gray sky, like time, is. For there is no time, and the face is, he suddenly sees, beautiful as stone, and so becomes aware that he is in the manly state. I think that's a fitting reflection on why we're both English majors. So I hope you enjoyed that little snippet, and I hope to talk to you soon. Okay, bye!